20 bucks or more. You ain't buying no cheap ones at no truck stop. Nice. It has been raining all night long. It's been very peaceful though. I always like waking up or going to sleep with the rain beating on top of the truck. It just always sounds really nice and stuff like that. It'll put you to sleep really quick. But, fella potty out here. That's the only really bad thing about having an animal in the truck with you, the dog, is let him out to use the bathroom and she can get pretty nasty, especially if it's wet out here. Bella, and then knowing that she's a, knowing that she's got lab in her, that just makes it even worse because she finds a water hole and she don't go around it, she goes through it. <laughs> I'm gonna walk to that guard shack and we're gonna see if they'll go ahead and let me get on up in here so I can start getting unloaded. Let's get on back to the truck. Old man at the guard check right there said, he called somebody, he said, uh, if you want to get in your truck, you go ahead and bring it on around here. They're gonna send somebody to come get you. Sounds good to me. My original unload appointment on my dispatch says 11.30. And man, that ain't, that's no bueno right there. So, the guy I talked to on the phone told me to if I'm gonna stay here, they get here at 7, 7.30, so 7.30 now. They told me to pull on up to the gate. So we're gonna try to get this done with. get out the pickup truck so we're gonna go up there and meet with him and see what see what's going on here skid which is a tank on skids to them and uh, they're not gonna be here till 1130 that's the reason why I wasn't supposed to be here till 1130 that's a bummer so it looks like it's gonna be a hurry up and wait kind of deal so basically what we're doing now is we're backing into the uh, overhead shed here where I'm gonna be unloading that. But we're gonna back in there to get out the rain so that way we can uh, take a sample, sample of the oil. That way the sampling and stuff be already done. And uh, when that skid gets here, we can start getting this thing unloaded pretty much right away. I got a whole bunch of coal train in. 
going down the track, back that away. Coming from way down there, we got this thing sampled all up. We backed in the hole right there, got it sampled, pulled back out here. And uh, well, if y'all if y'all follow along with each video, y'all know that I didn't eat last night because it was raining. So I decided to get out here this morning and make me some breakfast. I made a good looking T-bone steak right there. Some eggs. Got Bella out. She's running around getting all filthy and stuff like that. That'll be all right though. I got some paper, uh, some towels for that. Clean her up. But anyways, I'm gonna sit here and eat me some breakfast now while I wait on these guys to get that tank over here or whatever's going on. I don't know, man. Apparently, I'm going to unload into a skid, and it ain't here. Bella done got laid out over there in the grass, chomping on that T-bone. I gave her the T part of it, the top of the bone, the shank of it going down the middle there. I took and finished it off. That way, this right here wouldn't poke her, just in case she didn't chew it all up really good. Back there going to town on that thing. It was good. I'm telling you, it was good. That was absolutely delicious. We're gonna sit here and drink our coffee. And uh, we fed our bodies, so now we're gonna feed our spirit. Alrighty, y'all. I gotta get all this stuff picked up now. He done come out here and told me they was ready for me, so put this stuff right here up. I'll finish that stuff up later on. I was watching Brother Breaker, Robert Breaker on the YouTubes there, man. Y'all y'all get on there and subscribe and watch watch his videos. Great guy, knows what he's talking about. It's done started raining again too, so I'm glad I got, was able to get out there and get food and everything cooked. Cause I would have been starving later on, that's for sure. Crap. I guess while I've been sitting here, I could have been doing paperwork. I forgot all about that. All right, come on, baby, get to moving. So basically, we're going to back into the building here and uh, get everything hooked up, get this stuff unloaded. I never seen a truck bring no tank or anything like that so it could have been a tank already on the inside that they just had to get empty first before I can unload into it. Oh, that door right there they wanted to open that thing up a whole lot more.
while and figure this stuff out. Alrighty, y'all, we had to give this a little bit of a voice over here because it was very loud in there. As you see, we got a three inch hose going in the back of the truck and then right off the truck, we got a, a filter system that we had to hook up. And then from that, we got a three inch line that's stretching way, way up there. That hose right there is about a 35 foot hose. And then it runs across that floor way over there to the other side where the tank is. We had to hook up a three inch line plus two two inch lines. And there's actually guys standing on top of the tank holding the line down into the tank to unload this stuff. That grate that you see up there is where the hose is running across at. And they're standing up on top of that grate. I'll tell you what, I worked my butt off to hook all this stuff up. And like I said, it's super loud in there, so we had to do a voiceover right here. We got that stuff unloaded. Man, my floorboard is just absolutely terrible. We got it unloaded, y'all. We done got our next order. We are going back to Shreveport. Probably going to Calumet loading rack. Yeah. So we're going to Calumet and gonna pick up a load of diesel for Chopin, Louisiana. And then uh, we got us a 9.15 in the morning going to Jasper, Alabama is what they told me so far. So we're gonna get us a preload tomorrow morning. Only really bad thing about that is, is we're not gonna be able to go home this evening. Uh, I'm gonna go unload a Chopin and then uh, have to ride on down south, go spend the night down there at uh, Port Arthur because if I go home it's not going to be enough time to make it down there for my appointment time at Chevron right now it's 2 o'clock and um, 3, 4, 5 I'm not going to get back to Shreveport till 5 won't get loaded till probably 6 o'clock it'll be uh It'll be late tonight getting down there to, to Chevron. That was a pretty cool place right there. Like I said, we got us. See a cow you met, cow you met, cow you met, Shreveport, two hours and 52 minutes. Oh my God, it's kicking up them little pieces of rock right there. Boy, this little road's rough. All right, two hours and 52 minutes. We're going back across Highway 70. Yeah, all right. We're going to go back toward Ibadale or however you say that, Oklahoma. Nobody coming.
All right, y'all. We made it here to Calumet. Get our load of diesel loaded. Just putting all my cards up and where they go to. Get everything ready back on the road. We're gonna check traffic real fast. Cause Shreveport is looking like a madhouse right now. Uh, now we're going down to Southern Loggers Chopin. Southern Loggers Chopin. I'll tell you what, just type in Chopin, Louisiana. Alrighty. That's exactly where I want it to be at. Right there. So we got an hour and 30 minutes and this is telling us to go back up the interstate and get off on 49. So as you can see right here on the map, if y'all can see it, 220 is backed up like a son of a gun, had a big massive wreck. And then from Shreveport to Bossier City, it's all backed up through there because they're doing road construction. And then on 31, 32, they actually got the road closed on the other side and our side is all backed up. So we're gonna go the interstate there. We did get our loaded diesel loaded. We got 6,500 gallons of clear diesel and then 1,000 gallons of dyed diesel going to Chopin, Louisiana. I showed y'all a little clip of that windshield wiper out there. That thing's falling apart on me. It's starting to get tore all up. I don't understand. I mean, I know why they're, they're cheap windshield wipers. Um, it's just the ones that the, that the uh, office buys so or the shop buys so hey we'll stop at the loves and get us some decent decent windshield wipers check the mirrors over there ain't nobody on this inside lane here so Merge on over. I must got a uh, something going on with cattle or something this weekend at the convention center. A bunch of people over there. It's got a rodeo or something going on. Oh, they got the fair going on right there. Okay. Well, I bet you they ain't having no fair today, are they? Bouncing around, bouncing around. Yeah, they got a, a whole fair set up over there. That's pretty cool. I like how they got the Ferris wheel all lit up. That's pretty neat. on people please if it's pouring down rain turn your lights on just because it's a newer vehicle don't mean it's gonna automatically turn the lights on for you every time turn the lights on this guy right here is going down the road in a camper pulling a camper with no lights on I mean look at my mirrors look at my mirrors can you see that good out of my mirrors but well, he's got lights on on the truck but not the camper Yeah, he coming to a coming to a stop right there. But that's just for the road construction going through town there.
somebody else riding back there without no lights on. I can barely see the silhouette of their car. And the only reason why I can see it is because the people behind me, I can see their headlights through the windows and stuff like that. People ride around with your lights on, especially if it's raining and stuff. Because you cannot see nothing from all the road film and stuff like that coming from these big trucks. And if, you can't, if I can't see nothing and I come over on you and cause you to wreck, that's my fault. Even though you didn't have your lights off, I mean on, that's my fault. Because I merged over onto you. So I always throw my blinker on and I always look and make sure before I go to get over that there ain't nothing beside me. driving in this stuff I don't mind driving in ice snow rain it's not me that I worry about it's the other people because a four-wheeler a car only has four wheels on it big trucks got 18 wheels on it so I've got more traction than they do and that's what I worry about is other four-wheelers right here we got a wrecker sitting here probably somebody done wiped out hit the wall or something and that's what it is. Somebody done got an accident right there and causing a backup. Usually if it's a big truck getting into a wreck, I can 99% tell you that a car was involved in it because a car is what made the big truck wreck. We got more traction than a four wheeler does. The four wheelers only have four wheels. They don't have the traction like a big truck does. It's common sense. This is crazy traffic right here, y'all. I'm glad it ain't going south. I better hush my mouth. I might stick my foot in it here in a minute. Right here, you got people backing up the inter backing up the highway there. Got another wreck right here. Goodness gracious, yeah, man. We're about to break check up here, so get ready. Yeah, you got 3132 shut down. There's another wreck right there. Look at 3132 right there. My, my, my. Northbound 49 just past 3132. Y'all's middle lane, that left lane is going to be backing up. Now y'all get past that, about the 203, the left lane is going to be closed. Crazy man. I need to get back over in left lane. About to have another wreck right here. This is crazy. This, uh, side. Come on, people. Uh, there's a backup right here. Everybody trying to get off right here just south of 3132. Uh, what is that exit? One, uh, 199. Everybody's trying to get off right there.
Alrighty, now we got that taken care of. Hopefully they'll stay. Why didn't it wipe that one spot right there? Are you not hitting that spot or what? I'll have to get out and look at this. I'm just gonna have to look at this. Ain't got no bending to them. Like you can't bend them a certain way and make them stay. So they'll just have to do for now. They seem to be some pretty nice windshield wipers from the package. <laughs> Anyways, they'll just have to do for now. They're better than that metal sitting there scratching on the window, making lines on it and stuff like that. That's the one main reason why I wanted to stop and get some more because I can't can't have all that. Let's, let's keep on a roll. There ain't nobody coming. All right. So now we're going to get get on down the highway. Seems like the, uh, the weather, weather has subsided a little bit. Right here where I'm at anyways. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem right there. I'm gonna have to figure that out tomorrow or something like that. Why it ain't wiping that one spot. That one little spot right there. Ain't wiping it. Don't throw their hand. Right here, show pan, y'all. Get this thing unloaded. We done did our number three hole right there. That was our dyed. We're working on our clear right now. Shouldn't be too much longer. We got the old mill right here behind us. Look at the old moon up there in the sky. It's pretty cool. Okay, so basically, what the idea is of what I'm gonna do now, like for this evening. I'm only 30 minutes from my house. So I called my wife, told her, you know, I'm gonna come home tonight, but I ain't gonna take but a seven hour break to do a split, you know? All I gotta do is go down to Port Arthur, Texas, load a load of uh, oil and come back home tomorrow. So what's the point in passing by the house, going on down there to Lake Charles or going on down there to Vinton, Louisiana, having to stop, get a shower out of Love's. Of course, it's gonna be late when I get down to Port Arthur, so I'm not gonna cook because the mosquitoes will be bad. So I would have to find something at the truck stop that I can eat on or eat some tuna fish out of the truck. So I was like, you know what? To save all that, Bella, come over here. Come over here. Save on up. 
to save on all that, I'm just going to go home. Give me a shower. Give me a, a good bite to eat. And at least be able to sleep in the bed with mama tonight. I've been gone all week long. I've been gone since Sunday. So yeah, I'm ready I'm ready to get toward the house now. It wouldn't hurt me to go spend the night down there in Port Arthur. But what's the point in doing that when I'm 30 minutes from the house? Got to pass right by the house going down there. So I might as well just stop and do a split break. Spend seven hours at the house. That'll still give me enough time to get up and get down there to make it down there for my appointment time. Not much longer. We're on the last hole, 500 gallons. Much better. Much, much better. Sometimes buying the more expensive uh, wipers and stuff are not always the greatest. But what can you do when you stop at a truck stop and uh, all the wipers are pretty much 20 bucks or more? You ain't buying no cheap ones at no truck stop. Go to a parts house, go to a auto zone or something like that to get your windshield wipers. Cause them ones that I bought right there, even though it's got a natural curvature to them, these right here suck. 
They're not going to be a total loss, though. I'm going to bring them to the yard, and uh, they can they can put it on a flat windshield truck. The normal Peterbilt split windshield has, is flat. Both windshields are flat. Well, this one's got a natural curve to it. So, them windshield wipers kind of suck on that curved windshield. So, we got down here to Port Arthur this morning. We did go home and all that stuff. I didn't show all that, but we did get down here to Port Arthur this morning, and our product is ready. They're just going to, they got another truck to load right ahead of me that's getting some product like I'm getting. So, they don't want to put me on a lane and then have to swap a product in their arm and then have to put the other driver back on that lane to, uh, to have to swap back to the same product, one of the same products I'm getting. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be sitting here waiting. It shouldn't be long though. My product's all ready. I'm good to go. Just waiting on them to get me on loading rack. Appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate it, buddy. Marquis, we'll see you later. Oh, no, not yet.
What are you doing, Gabby? Huh? What do you say, my big girl? Huh? What do you say, my big girl? Uh oh. Oh, good grief. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love you too. I love you too. <clears throat> Can you get you a stick? Oh, Lord. She got the stick. <laughs> she got the stick. Uh oh. Come here. Come on, bring me that stick. See it? See it? <laughs> hey, buddy. Alrighty. Y'all can see what we made here to the house. When I ain't got my neighbor's trash can back in the yard. Got ours back over there where it's supposed to be at. Got some sheets off the bed or some blankets that I sleep on top of. Uh, beginning of this video when we was unloading over there at that power plant. The uh, Bella got my, my covers a little dirty. So we got them in the house while I was gonna wash them up for me. Got the refrigerator cleaned out. Yeah, that's about it. I do need to clean old Rusty up on the inside this weekend very, very badly. But I also need to clean this bike right here up too. This thing is very, very nasty. Just from sitting out here in the open, it's disgusting. I ain't rode it in about a month and a half now. The well, last time y'all seen me ride this bike on the video, that's the last time I rode it. And it's been sitting right there ever since. And my wife just told me right before I started getting on this video right here that she wants to go ride. Our anniversary is this week on Wednesday, the 1st of November. And that's what I planned on doing next weekend. But I guess we might do it this weekend. So, we got to here and wash this bike up and everything. Get it all cleaned up. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But, do hope y'all enjoyed this video right here. Uh, what did we do? We unloaded that power plant load. We come back down. We did swing by the house last night for seven hours. Then we took off again. Basically used the split. When I got to the loading rack this morning, went back on sleeper berth. And then after three hours, it gave me back seven hours. So, I was able to do all that. Plus still stay the night at the house instead of going on down there to Port Arthur and all that. But, We hope y'all enjoyed this video right here. Y'all have a blessed one. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.